Hey everybody, I'm CBS4 meteorologist Ashton Altieri in the Colorado Weather Center. Want to talk about your 4th of July forecast. And I know for a lot of folks, holiday has already gotten underway. Today's going to be a hot one. High 95 degrees this afternoon in Denver. Pretty much just as hot as it was yesterday. We'll see a few triple digits in the southeast part of the state here this afternoon. A high country location 70s and 80s. Speaking of the high country, we do have a red flag warning today from noon until 8 p.m. This does include most of Summit County. It includes Berthoud Pass and all the way down into South Park and Chaffee County, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, and most of Southern Colorado included out on the Western Slope. Red flag warning includes the Grand Junction area. What makes today a little bit different is the higher chance for thunderstorms. These storms will produce more wind than rain, and that's what we're concerned about because the really gusty wind in the high country is going to raise that fire danger even more. Lightning, of course, never a good thing when the fire danger is high. Most of the storms today will be in the mountains. Can't rule out a quick gusty storm here along the front range this evening. And then here's 10 o'clock tonight. Maybe a few storms up here in far northeast Colorado that could produce winds up to about 60 miles per hour. So if you're heading downtown uh, for Independence Eve, and we certainly hope that you are 100,000 people expected at Civic Center Park tonight. Uh, temperature 82 degrees as the concert gets underway at 8 p.m. Fireworks follow at 930. We'll be streaming uh, Independence Eve live on our Facebook page, the CBS Denver Facebook page. Maybe you're going to the Rockies game tonight. First pitch temperature 610, 87 degrees. And again, a chance for a thunderstorm. Fireworks follow that game tonight. Fireworks follow the game tomorrow night at Coors Field. And of course, there are a lot of fireworks displays up and down the front range. Full guide at CBSDenver.com. There is a better chance for seeing thunderstorms tomorrow night compared to tonight. Elish Gardens, another one of those spots that always has a big firework display. We're going to have the latest forecast coming up here a little bit later on today at noon. And then, of course, the CBS 4 News at 5, 6, and 10. My colleague Lauren Whitney will be right here keeping you up to date on what's going on with the weather. But the bottom line is we've got a chance for seeing a couple thunderstorms while temperatures stay hotter than usual for the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, everybody.